I'm Jim Bowering. I'm an assistant professor of computer science at the College of Charleston, Charleston, South Carolina. Um, and my uh, research area is domain-specific software engineering. How did I get involved in EarthCube? Mm -hmm. Well, when I heard about EarthCube, it had my name written on it, essentially, uh, right? Cyber infrastructure. So I, I managed to get invited to the first charrette, and uh, actually it was a, a lost immediately because the cyber infrastructure that was being talked about, I didn't have a context for understanding, uh, was a higher level cyber infrastructure from the level one I've been talking about. Um, and it had to do with cyber infrastructure supporting huge amounts of data coming off of sensors and coming out of huge databases, et cetera, right? Whereas what I now call level one cyber infrastructure is that cyber infrastructure that's producing the data that ends up in these little databases that gets aggregated. Nevertheless, it was exciting to be with uh, earth scientists and uh, computer scientists and information scientists who had been involved in this cross-domain effort, and I felt at home knowing there were other people out there in, with the same hat on, so to speak, coming at it from different angles, often from government labs uh, as well as academia. And I think that software engineers need to uh, join EarthCube or similar efforts uh, because the need for our science uh, to be uh, collaborating with uh, domain sciences is incredible. There's huge opportunities here. Computation is obviously uh, going to become ubiquitous, right? We're gonna have computing in every aspect of our life. And we might as well get involved um, in detail with this effort, EarthCube, that's um, being promulgated by the NSF to be the 21st century solution for, for uh, the Earth sciences. And a lot of people are at the table, a lot of money's at the table. And there's a lot of opportunities to define the future software-wise and software uh, designed specifically to do this uh, job of science.